Greetings! Welcome back to Outer Wilds. Last we left off, we crashed a ship on one of the, the Ember Twins of the Hourglass Twins. But that got me thinking, if that was a gravity cannon, I did not actually really look into the gravity cannon that was on Brutal Hollow, nor did I explore the Southern Observatory, or I've called it Brutal Hollow's Nipple. Anyway, we're gonna head back real quick, check those two things out so we can tick off those boxes that need to be ticked. And maybe even see if we can land somewhere on the Hollow's Lantern, because that seems to be one of the locations that is listed on my little star chart map thingy. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first, before we more aggressively investigate the Ember Twins and the Ash Twin. Which, that's the Ash Twin Project. So those two things might be related. But before we do that, Brutal Hollow. Alright, little lantern moon. What secrets do you hold? I mean, the only things I can see that are actually physically on the surface are these volcanoids. Oh, wait, 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 what's that? What is that? Oh, there's something inside! <laughs> oh, that's uncomfortably close. And yeah, I put my spacesuit on. I'm not done. How am I supposed to easily land in this thing? This is terrifying. Why would the Nomai build something on this? Projection stone. Timberheart is where that mine was. Friends in the Timberheart mines, the last type of ore you sent us survives the longest in direct heat. Awesome. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability, and our forge has already burned through everything you sent. <laughs> We'll deliver more ore to the Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the Asteroid Project's protective shell. Oh, everything freezes when I'm reading. That's awesome. For gratitude, I imagine we'll also have an updated estimate soon of how much ore is needed to seal off the Asteroid Project. Oeno will be more than... Oeno. Oh, Oeno will be more than we initially thought. It will be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Wait, what does that say? Yes, the idea of an encasement that's supernova proof, however briefly, has kindled my curiosity. Interesting. It's one of these little thingamabingers. Take me somewhere. Where is this? Oh, wait, is this the... Oh yeah, it's inside the mine. The mine that was on Timber Earth. Okay. If I step off this platform. Oh god, that was really scary. What's this say? Location is now inhospitable. Evacuation recommended. Increased volcanic activity detected. Increased solar activity detected. You know, solar activity. Oh god, it's supposed to be moving. <laughs> Southern Observatory. Where do I find the cannon that's going to rocket me into space? Although, if any of my experience is the same as the last time that I uh, messed with the gravity cannon, I probably should not mess with it. Well, that could have been awful. All right, I've arrived back at the gravity cannon, which I think is what this thing is called. Or where does it go, actually? Let's see where this little um, thing about what's it goes. What's it say? Shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. Uh, I'll call the shuttle home. Will this take me to the quantum moon? Huh. This one doesn't have a suit in it. This must be a different one. What's this say? 
So let him, I'm here! After watching it wander the skies for so long, I am about to stand, for the first time, on the Quantum Moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the Quantum Moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. Wait, so does this take me to the quantum moon? I don't know if that did anything. Okay. Let's see what this does. And away I go. Taking me away from Brittle Hollow. Neat. Alright, what's the middle one do? Oh. It takes me back! Alright, let's go. Leaving Brittle Hollow. As I move beyond the grasp of Brittle Hollow's gravity. I don't know what this does. Is that important? That looks like it might be important. Um, do I have to wait till that's like lined up with something? Or am I not understanding the interworkings of this ship? I am not a nobody. I do not know how to fly this thing. All right, first we take off. Oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> I almost crashed into that. You know, let's not mess with technology I don't yet understand. Let's just try to go to the Southern Observatory. Where is that thing? Oh, this is the controls. The thing's up there, I think. Alright. Um, I guess we should go into Brittle Hollow? The crossroads? Yes, please. This thing said crossroads. But I see no roads to cross. I wonder if I came here too late. Indubitably. I think I can make that jump. Oh no, I only have three minutes of oxygen remaining! I don't think I could leapfrog onto that. I see a thing over there. Uh oh. I immediately regret this decision. Never mind, I don't regret this decision. Here we go. Maybe I can get in there by jumping on it. There's a thing in there. Thing in there too. helpful at all. I may have to start the cycle over again. I don't really know what I can do to determine from over here. Nothing useful anyway. Oh! Oh! Here we go! Contact. Is that happy music? I can't tell. Well, the world's about to end. 
And I'm on the wrong side. Alright, let's just calmly and comfortably watch the end of the universe, and then I'll reset everything, and then go back to the cannon of fodder. Is that really where it came from? Where is that? Hmm. Well, I didn't really accomplish much that thing, other than I went to the, uh, the Ember Lantern Moon of Brittle Hollows. I know the names of places. Alright. Take me home, Nova. Reset my miserable Maybe I should go back to that tower. I wonder where those went. I'm not gonna send you back into the nothingness I just came from. Although that might be a nice view from space. Nah, it's fine. I can just wait out here. Alright. The music has concluded. The sun is now imploding upon itself. Condensing into the most dense particles of space, which now releases a cosmic energy which will destroy all things and all matter within a certain distance, excluding potentially the Ashwin project, which was designed to resist a supernova. Let's watch. I think that's good enough. We're, we're just, I, you know what? I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to come back to my spaceship. I don't know where it's gonna be. You know, let's fix it anyway. Fixed. Nope. <laughs> you're funny, you're so clever. All right, back to um, the cannon, which I messed around with, almost crashed into the lantern. Now, gotta find my way down. I think I spent too much time last time, uh, spending too much time and wasting time of times. All the times. Yeah, see, I don't remember this being there. Oh, that's, that turns on a lot of stuff. So this is the crossroads. What it should have looked like. Guess it was gone. Or maybe I just totally missed it. Now, I think I need to go to that. Pokey ma Pokey Majigger. How did the Nomai get around without trusty jetpacks? Take them places. Oh, good thing we have springy legs. Jumping would be so much easier than wasting its fuel. Precious fuel. Catch me, please. All right. I think this. Well, this is new. I see it gold, like a pole, planet pole. But oh, gravity crystals. Okay. There used to be a walkway that just took you straight there. Oh, I almost died, or I didn't. I don't really know. Why do they create these weird obstacles? Thing the Nomai didn't get drunk. Right, so then this takes me this way. Good thing the poles don't fall, that would suck. Okay. Oh, there's ledges up there. Allegedly. Maybe their walkways just crumbled. They made really good resistant towers and things, but they made awful, awful, um, something or others. Uh, I don't know the words of things, 
They didn't make very good platforms. That's that's what I was trying to say. Ooh. All right, let's see where this takes me. Why didn't it go further down? Did there used to be a thing that got you there easily. Oh, I made it. But what? What's this thing? Don't go down there. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's stuff and things everywhere. What's this first? First. It's so loud. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Fascinating. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update. It's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Hmm. Good thing there's only two. Most cyclones are gi on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters below the currents. My gratitude, Spire. Kanoi is showing me your hard handiwork, and I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone, but was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> uh, it's always fun to make stuff. Oh great, is this what awaits me on Giant's Deep? That's clockwise and that's counterclockwise. Does this take me up? Oh my god, it does. Does this take me down? I can't really imagine this being anything. Oh, ow! That forced me down. That hurt. Okay. All right, what's over here? Oh, a thing. Giant Steep. Fascinating. First we read. I think time stops when I'm reading, which is good, so I can top time by holding this. Kanoi. Daz and I were lift. Oh, Kanoi, Daz and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Yeah, that what you talked about over there. Kanoi, you should have seen it. We'd thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. What? Well, that's actually quite deep. Of uh, the other planets very deep as I thought it was. Cassava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? Kanoi, my gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below your current. Kanoi, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek between beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon, and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Interesting. Oh. Oh wait, I gotta do the deep thing for the sunken pit. Alright, oh, and it's called Giant Steep! <laughs> ah. Fascinating. What is this place? Is this Giant Steep? Giant deep. Oh, what is that? Oh, that. Hey, that, that looked like the um the thingy that shoots the thing, which I can't look at because once I step out of the square, it gets me away. Where is this? Where does this door lead to? Hey, it's the outside part where the Ryback was landed initially. He trekked all the way over there. Lucky right back, the planet didn't implode on itself where every time I get here. The planet implodes. Alright, what's up this way? What's up there? I see trees. Oh, what are these? Well, those look like, um, I think I've started to recognize which things represent what thing and the things of other things. 
Um, but this, I believe, is the hourglass quartz? What's that do? Oh, neat! And this one is... Dipper. Oh, another ring showed up, awesome. This one is Brittle Hollow. <gasps> and another ring, oh, fun. So Brittle Hollow is the third planet from the star. This is, I believe, Giant's Deep. That's even further out. This, yeah, I believe, represents the, 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 the pokey planet of pokies. There's pokey things. The, 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 the pokey planet, I can't remember. Oh, this is what they use to represent the eye of the universe. Oh. Somewhere out there. Is it moving? Oh, wait, there's information! Come back. Yeah. Unable to determine orbit, no signal detected, matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. Ah. one say? What's the interior one say? Oh, is this a bench or is this a work table? What does this say? What secrets do you hold? How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. Huh. So what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in an orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Ah, yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method. Malo's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pi about the technology they're developing? Wait, what? What? Oh my god, there's things over there to look at. What have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Atoll Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. Hmm, suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Cassava, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to the star system. I'm aware I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. So I need to get to the quantum moon. But first, the hourglass twins. Oh, it looks like it's really far out there too. Interesting. Okay. Well, um, and whatever time I have left, let's see if I can uh, get back to my ship, hopefully. Maybe, maybe. See what I can do? Miss the stairs. We're gonna go back. Maybe I can steal Ryback's ship. That'd be funny. Cool. Neat. Because, yeah, once you're here, you're stuck here. I really wish it didn't use up my fuel when it would, like. Oh, 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 oh that freaked me out. <laughs> they did keep mentioning Giant Steep and then the Ember Twins. I don't know if I should go back to the Ember Twins or if I should check out Giant Steep. 
or the Hourglass Twins. There they are. Well, let's see what I can get to them. safe spot to land? Let's see if I can find a better spot to land. Oh. Better spot indeed. Alright, well what's on this one? The sun's getting awful big. Make floors out of this stuff? Freeze time. Here's your first delivery, Yaro. One warp core fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core's sibling on Brutal Hollow as I write this. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ashman project is underway. I confess, I'm deeply curious about what you and Poke, Pokey, Poke, found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit sometime to learn more? I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin Pro Towers. The Ash Twin Project. So a visit to the station would be doubly useful. I suppose more precisely, I could like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. Yarrow, stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister in romantic matters. Her density rivals a neutron star. And go meet her on the White Hole Station. I'd be happy to explain our findings. <laughs> I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work there is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. So, wait, what? They delivered a black hole core here. This looks like a teleporting device. So is this where the Black Hole Forge gets teleported? Interesting. Let's see what the other towers tell me. Oh, this is convenient. Oh god, no it's not. Yeah, but that thing's coming. No, 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 no. No, no, I have things to read. And investigate. Another one of these forge things. Ow. Alright, wait, is this the tower I just came from? No, I went to the wrong side. I'm like a little orbiting thing. Okay, what's this tower? Oh no! A dead nomai! I'm about to be a dead nomai. Wait, were they here exp doing something? And then that's when the, uh... There's a scroll that goes here. That's kind of a cool shot. Exploring. I need to head back to that uh, sandy planet. There's three towers there, and one of them just nothing. Unless I missed it completely. Okay. Slate, save those mallows. What's that? Wait, what's that? Landed in a grove of tree. I almost went out without a spacesuit on. <laughs> The other signal observatory they built? There's a 
whistle? Air banjo, air whistling, and a harmonica. Why are you participating in this, flute man? planet sometimes and only sometimes as a moon this is also of note it disappears if no one is watching it isn't that a fascinating orbital characteristic I found your note Miller a eh? kindly count me among those moons admirers what is happening when it disappears I doubt it ceases to exist does it move to another location I believe so not only does the moon appear around brittle hollow I can confirm it sometimes orbits timber for it oh, well Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of microscopic quantum mechanics. I don't know what that is. Uh, is that a thing? Educate us, Education Corgi. Huh. Okie dokie. I agree. Our first step would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so that we can always know where it is. How do you track a phantom moon? I see another scroll. Oh, and more stuff. Church research notes. Property of church. Clearly, the Nomai were making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What is this big rotating device for? Was what was it the Nomai were observing? I'd posit there's something special about the orange symbol on that device. How in the new astronauts translator tool would be nice to have handy about now. Thing that I have in my hands. Let's get that fire nice and toasty. The quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. Anona, Burr, I just observed the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. You have keen eyes, my friend. So this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. Huh. I thought the locator now accounted for all the phantom moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device? It's also possible there exists a sixth place in this star system to which the phantom moon travels. Huh. Maybe it's traveling into the eye of the universe. You got the uh, Giant's Deep. You got, um, really? Oh, wait, what is this thing? Is this like where the moon is located? Oh yeah, it's got six dots on it. So this is where the moon is chilling. Right now it's on uh, where the, the, the Bram Dark Bramble. Huh. Now it's on wherever this is, uh, gi Giant's Deep. Yeah, okay. Alright, now take me somewhere else. Alright, now it's lined up with Brittle Hollow. Okay, now where's the fifth location go? The sixth location. Now Timber Hearth, no. Back to Giant's Deep. I wonder, because this the eye of the universe is flying all over the place, that's where it ended up. Or that's where its sixth location is. In the eye of the universe. In the eye of the universe. Nope. Oh yeah, I have information I need to read. New info! Well, not yet. All right. Let's see what else I can find on this itty bitty rock. Ooh, another gravity can. Yeah, that's the cannon I crashed. Maybe don't go there. Is this that signal tower they said they built? Let's see what I can find out on this planet somewhere too. I should probably find him. Her. It. They. 
them. Does this take me down? Oh, they wrote on the ground, too. Note, this door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on the extraordinary bindings from the White Hole Station. Ramy and I will be running in this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So, although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the path from the Sunless City. Aw. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. We realize this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. An update. The High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin Project. If you're here to help, or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City path to the lab. Yeah, what is that? Where is that? High Energy Lab. Oh, yeah, that door's broken. Where's the hot, where's the Sunless City? Is that the Sunless City path? Sunless City. All right, let's go there then. Oh, yeah, that's probably where you cross that over there. All right, let's take it to the little city, bro. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Don't go that way. Crash site caves. Oh, oh look at that. That goes somewhere. Where does this go? Is this where it takes me to the Sunless City? Ow! We have an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we can construct long-term shelter here. The cavern Mellorae found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? Yeah, Mellorae's the uh, uncle, cousin, aunt, whoever who they thought was hoping alive on Bird Hollow. This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. Of note, you must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow your fall up. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand. And make sure no one is lost. Okay, well, all these other things. Free emergency escape hatch. What? Where did that come from? Oh! This must be where the, um... Ugh, that horrible. Why is there emergency distress beacon so awful? You're not able to follow this tunnel to its end. Coleus and I will examine the horror that lies at the terminus later, provided we live through this. What? Well, horror at the end of the tunnel? I have to know. Keep moving, friends. There's nothing interesting at the end of this passage but rocks. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. Hmm. Oh, I just came from this side. Is this the, um... Of note, this passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tank there. We cannot tell how far deep these tunnels may wind, but do not linger as the area is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. Okay. Well, there's nothing to, like, give me rocket paths. What's down? Is this the horror path? Yeah. What horror lies ahead? With scary cave teeth? What's that? Oh. Hey, it's one of those angler gate, maybe? Ah, now I'm inside the mouth. What's down there? There we go. End of this passage is something. There's a lot of sand coming down here. Do I have time to do this? I hope so. All right, well, at least I know you can get here from wherever that was. Where's Chert? Path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow instructions ahead closely. Was I supposed to not do that? To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upward through the opening above them. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. Alright, over. Go left. 
What happens if I went right? Columns? Rise. Oh, there's a hole in the ceiling. Ow. I'm guessing I go this way. Yes. Alright, what's down this path? Kind of going up. Over. Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Mellorite and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. Once on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it, and you'll reach the shelter site. Oh, you're... Okay, behind the falling sand. Ooh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Get back! You're doing well. You're only a little farther left to go until you reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Why am I hurrying before the sand comes? Oh god, up there? Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Did I reach it? Am I here? Heavy ass doors. Shrine District. Yeah, we know what that is. Bunch of... Maybe the uh, Nomai were religious. High Energy Lab Trailhead. Where's the High Energy Lab Trailhead? Oh, is it under... Oh, that sand is going up. That's, that's probably a problem. Stepping Stone District. Probably can't go that way then. Angler fish overlook. Oh wow. Is the ice trying to take me out of here? Because there's a door up there and the sand is. Oh, it, it is slowly rising. Oh god. 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 I don't have time for any of this. Oh, take me up. Take me up. I might have to explore this city later. All right, what is this place again? Angler Fossil, Angler Fossil Overlook. Too bad there's cracks in the surface and sand is seeping through. Oh, what's this? This is amazing, look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. From what we can see, Coleus and I believe the specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is this horror's place of origin, especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly, this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis, there is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. An update. We need to find a way inside quickly. Melloray, because I have returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. Oh. oh. There's something up ahead, up above. Hole in its mouth, and there's a hole above it. Fascinating. Anything over here to check out? Oh, it looks like living quarters. We're definitely living here. Oh, something. No, oh, this thing is too powerful. Oh, I did see a thing to lift me up over there earlier. Do I really want to risk it? Do I have time for that? Do I have time for these shenanigans? No, I do not. ghost matter in there. Ghost matter. The Ice Shrine District is up here. And that's the tallest point in this place. I should probably try to get to that. Where this place fills up and swallows me. Gravity cannon. Yes, please. But I guess I could try to go back the way I came. 
Uh oh. Oh god, that's a lot of a lot of freaking ghost matter. I don't see any ghost matter. Some up there. I don't see any up here. So maybe the crystals don't always mean ghost matter? Maybe they sometimes mean ghost matter. Okay. Interesting. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Fantastic. Probably should have refilled before I left. Ooh, or I can get some from the uh, the ship. Or not. Is the, sand, the planet gonna fill up first? Oh god, I'm kind of far from my ship, aren't I? Well, maybe we'll get to chirp before the uh, the sun implodes. I want to talk to him before everything explodes and. I ruin everything. Hey, Chert! I found you! The stars, they're all dying. They've been too many supernovae for it to be anything else. We're next, do you understand? Our sun, by Hearth's name. We're next! What do you mean, we're next? It's the stars, you see. All the other stars are dying out. Oh, why did we have to be born at the end of the universe? And our sun, it. The star charts, why? Why did I want to update them so badly? I didn't have to know, but no! Oh no! I had to update the star charts. I had to go looking for things I shouldn't have. And now our sun is about to, about to, oh. I don't feel well. I'd like to be alone, please. What? No! What? Jerk, talk to me! Yeah, I found something. Why isn't that great? Why isn't that great? Do you know what? I found a few things myself. Most of them have to do with the sun exploding. Oh, who cares? What does it matter? Nothing matters anymore. The sun is about to go supernova and me, all well, my research, my life's work, wasted. Wasted, you understand? I'm sorry, Chert. Any other horrible things you wish to say? Why are the stars dying? I don't know. They're old. Far older than we realized. And now all of them are dying. What does it matter? It doesn't. It doesn't matter at all. Nothing matters anymore. All my research. My life's work. Wasted. Wasted, you understand? No, I, I want to understand more from you. What are you doing out here? Where should I explain? What are you doing out here? The star charts. It's all the star charts' fault. I didn't have to know. But, oh no. Oh no. I had to update the star charts. I had to go looking for things. I shouldn't have. And now our sun is about to... Oh, yeah. He, he keeps repeating himself. How dangerous is that big clump of falling sand? Not as dangerous as what's about to happen to our entire solar system. I I don't feel well. I'd like to be alone, please. Don't believe this. No, you don't believe it. No, sure. I'm going to hang out with you. Hmm. All right. Well, Chert, it was briefly fun while it lasted. I need get another mala before I die. Something sweet in my mouth. That's weird, it's not floating all over the place now. Oh, now it is. All right, shirt, let's hold hands. It's scary out here. Do you have to save me right now? <laughs> I'm gonna sit with you while the stars die. My fellow space travelers informed me that I should go back to the quantum cave on Ember Twin and do a little bit more investigating. So we're gonna head there now. Ow! Ow! What the heck? Like those things move. Woohoo! They move too! 
Close is missing advantage from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole several days ago. And we're unable to find any trace of him. I don't know why, how much air he had. He disappeared. I beg any friend reading this, help us recover Coleus. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? I'm near the North Pole. My ship is near at the North Pole. Or is that the South Pole? I can't tell. We plan to re-examine the Northern Lake Bed Cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. An update. Melra and I went back to the Lake Bed Cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there, and sometimes it isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Is this the lake bed cave that, um... Ugh. I think I'd have to go further down, because I can't go up. Alright, well, let's go to the lake bed cave, hopefully, before it fills up with sand. I hope this is the southern, the northern. I hope red is north. Oh god. What? Oh, that sucks. Alright, well I got crushed. Back to the lake bed cave. Alright, I have returned to the cave. I am attempting to navigate its confusing paths. Can't tell if I made progress or not. Is this where Coleus went? What the fudge? I hope I'm making progress. going on like the caves are quantum oh good air oh wow all right what's this nope lights nice all right what's this say if you come here to look for Coleus, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the wandering rock. I was taking notes and then my lantern died. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Our strange wandering rock friend is here, though Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. Huh. If I do this, it's still there. See, I stand on it, and it's still there. And then this thing moves. This whole cave is quantum. That's weird. Now the skeletons are moving. That's freaky. One eternity later. All right, so. After dying too many times in that room, I think I figured out the light puzzle. I also think since the rock looks also awful lot like the rock that's in the room with the arches at the lake bed, I'd probably just do it on that rock. 
do it on a rock. <laughs> uh, we're gonna make little Hearthians. Okay, so, I don't think I have to navigate that crazy puzzle at the beginning, when I can really just go to, um, down that one. They said, they turned the lights out, and I did some more playing around. Things definitely changed. What the heck? Well, this is different. Is this the room I came into last time? This is not the right room. Everything's changed. Again. Ugh. Yeah, okay. So they're still looking for Coleus. Oh wait, this is a different message. Friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during our research recent research trip and has been missing ever since. Yeah. But then this is new. Melray, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? Yeah, my gratitude, Bert. Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Coleus lost, Mellor, eh? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. Yeah, we we went there multiple times and died a few times there. It happened in an instant and without warning. I turned away from Coleus to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited number of supply of air. Yeah, that was, that was before. I've read that part. Hypothesis, we will learn more by examining the Northern Lake Bed Cave where Coleus disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have no time to wander. Yeah, okay, so I think I'm moving. But that oh that's new. Cloyce is missing. Um Yeah we read that part already. Shock is very familiar. Yeah, we read this. I was in Iraq, we planned to re-examine the Northern Lake Bay Cave. An update, Mailray went back to the Lake Bay Cave and observed this rock again. Well, I'm glad they could find it easily. That means this rock wanders. Okay. Is this the same one? Wait, which cave is this? Yeah, this is the one I thought it was. Well, that doesn't change. This is where I thought I was coming in. But even that changed. Alright, where does it go now? Where does this go? Not the arches. What? That's so weird that it changed. All right, where to next? This looks. Oh, this is new. How curious! This rock took me took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. Wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. I wonder if I myself became a quantum briefly when the rock can carry me here. This seems to be the clearest explanation. Hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. I know this is what's correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Mallory is here now, too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with that quantum object, and they move together. 
Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. Interesting. Oh, crap. At least it, like, comes right back to me, and I don't have to, like, wonder about Oh, you can see my map changes, too. This is that other cave. Wonder why it doesn't take me down to the southern cave. Like, it just goes to these particular ones. It doesn't take me to the um, southern lake bed cave. Alright, well, that's an interesting bit of information that kind of helped me out with the addendum. Now I know something new. So we're going to get back to our main expedition now. I hope you've had fun learning more about the quantum rock shard and the caves. That doesn't, for some reason, travel back to the southern cave. How very strange. Anyway, back to the main story. What are your theories and thoughts of all this? If you haven't experienced this game before, or any suggestions to what I should check out before I investigate the Sunless City. If you've enjoyed watching me discover and enjoy coming along in this ride, give a like and don't forget to subscribe so you know the next time I post something out and we do a little bit more investigating in our small corner of the universe. Anyway, in the meantime, you have yourselves a nice everything. Bye. Mason, no talking.